one of the things you mentioned in your article is this idea that that we obviously need more collaboration that the nature of the the demands of the work and the complexity of the work is is almost demanding uh, that and yet all of the systems that we have in organizations the the reward systems the promotion type systems still tend to re- focus on the individual and and their sort of successes and accomplishments and I'm just wondering, do you see organizations having the will to change those kinds of systems, which are obviously very impactful in terms of driving people's behavior? Well, let let me speculate about that in terms of the typical business school curriculum. Mm -hmm. If you you look at what, what any business school teaches, there will be maybe one or two courses on individual psychology and maybe something on teams Mm -hmm. but all the rest of the curriculum is driven by the pragmatic rational man theory Mm -hmm. the economists the management scientists the marketers they're teaching those students the individualism Mm. and so until that changes in the business schools I think students are going to come out Mm -hmm. believing that the only way to run a company is to reward individuals because that's what they've been taught Mm -hmm. in in 90% of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. So I don't expect managers to have sudden visions of insights Mm -hmm. when it's been hammered at them by the economists and by the Mm -hmm. management scientists to be individualistic. Mm So I think that's a real problem. And again, it will only get fixed when they discover that, and maybe Google is already discovering that, that the good stuff comes out of teams Mm -hmm. and they're gonna have to possibly consider rewarding the team. Mm -hmm. But that's such such anathema to most organizations because Team, resp- team accountability is right. immediately diffusion and they, they, they almost have a physical reaction. Right. No, you gotta have an individual to hold accountable. 